Did you see that? Let's watch it again. To those of you outside a few select countries, including Taiwan, that may look a bit strange to you. To those of you who love efficiency, it may bring some pain. Why must one turn right to go left? Is there really any point to this extra step? Well, there is a very important point, which is safety. Instead of having to turn left by crossing oncoming traffic, this maneuver ensures the driver almost always travels straight and in the safest path. But if the goal is safety, has it actually made roads safer? Based on statistics from the past 20 years, the safety of Taiwanese roads has not changed very much. Hook turns actually began in Taipei in 1985, but took a while to become a standard in Taiwan. This change may have reduced accidents and deaths resulting from scooters passing into the oncoming traffic lane, but they don't appear to have made much improvement to Taiwanese road safety overall. In fact, Taiwan News reported that a trial removal in Taoyuan reduced related accidents by 30 to 40 percent. They also state that in Japan, where the two-stage left turn system for scooters had been invented, the system has already been discontinued. This is a significant fact seeing as how Taiwan recently surpassed Japan for traffic deaths in 2020. And if you are aware of the difference in population, Taiwan being around 23 million and Japan around 125 million, you'll understand that those numbers are quite staggering. One problem with this turning system is the manner in which scooters have to reach the turn box. Depending on the road and intersection, scooters may interfere with the right turn lane, or like this, they may, and often do, cross over the crosswalk, or during peak times, you may see something like this. Massive amounts of traffic in the turning box, where the box gets overloaded. Additionally, a lot of drivers like to cheat in Taiwan, whether it be entering the intersection on yellow and heading to the left turn box, or trying to get ahead of the pack by moving up into the box. These rule breakers are a danger to themselves, pedestrians, and other drivers. Now, I'm not saying that hook turns are always bad or that the Taiwanese government had ill will in installing them, but they don't appear to be the best solution for Taiwan's traffic and pedestrians. So then, what is the solution? Well, after living here for a few years and seeing what Taiwan has to offer, my preferred solution would be reducing the amount of vehicles on the road, expanding pedestrian walking areas, pushing for more public transport, providing better bike lanes, and just overall making the country more safe and livable. Now I realize these solutions are not specific to just the hook turn issue, but really cover the whole of urban infrastructure here in Taiwan. I've found an interest and passion for these types of problems and want to cover more of them in detail moving forward. If you enjoy this type of content, let me know in the comments what types of urban infrastructure in Taiwan you'd be interested in knowing more about. And if you made it this far, thanks a lot and be on the lookout for the next video.